Hi, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Nicole with MorningChores.com and today I am showing you my seed haul and the seeds I plan on trying in the 2019 year. January and February are always an exciting time for gardeners because usually you're planning your upcoming gardening season and part of that is ordering seeds. It's always fun looking through the catalogs and deciding what new varieties you wanna try. So today I'm gonna to share one company that I ordered from and show you guys what seeds I ordered, what I'm excited to try, and hopefully it will get you guys excited about the upcoming garden season. If you've been following the channel for a while now, you know that I recommend three seed companies that I order from. Two that I mainly have ordered from up to this point is Johnny Seeds and Fedco Seeds. They will be linked in the description box below. For today's video, I exclusively ordered from Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds. Their website will also be in the description box below. But I have personally have never tried their seeds. I've heard good things about them, but I decided I need to give them a try and see how they do in my garden. So that is the company that I ordered from. Before ordering any seeds, I always highly recommend that you order the catalog first. Baker's Creek has a beautiful catalog with vivid colors. They have great descriptions of all of their products. So to get a catalog, just head to their website and they usually have a request a catalog icon. You can click on that fill out your information and get this lovely, beautiful catalog. Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds are a family owned business and they only sell seeds that are heirloom and non-GMO. So the great thing about these seeds is they're not genetically modified and you can also save your seeds at the end of each garden season. What I love about that is in the bigger picture, it saves you more money. And so the only time you really have to order seeds is when you wanna try a new variety. This company is based here in the US in the state of Missouri. They sell seeds that come from all over the world. It's really fun to, like I said, look through their catalog and check out the different unique varieties. There's a lot of things that I've never heard of, so it's fun to try some of those in your own garden. They also ship worldwide, so if you do not live in the US, you can still head over to their website, check out their seeds, maybe order some and have them shipped to your house. The first vegetable I purchased is Blue Lake Bush Beans. I already tried these from a different company and they did really, really well. So I was running low on seeds, so I decided to order some extra to keep on hand. The next one I ordered is Chicago Pickling Cucumbers. These are a little bit shorter of a cucumber and they looked really tasty, so I thought I would give those a try. What's great about their seed packets is they give a little bit of history on the back along with planting instructions. So it's fun to learn about the history of the seed. Next is Chinese pink celery, Paris Island lettuce, California wonder peppers. This is another one that I've previously tried and had very good success in my garden. So I decided to try some of their seeds to see if I have the same success. Chocolate beauty peppers. Really wish that these tasted like chocolate because I probably could get my daughter to eat a few more of these at dinner time. Kelvedon wonder peas. Banana peppers. Bok choy. Kuroda long eight inch carrots. I have to admit I have not had great success with carrots. So if any of you have any advice, I would love to hear in the comment section below. I still can't wrap my brain around the fact that tomato is a fruit. In my mind, I still think of it as a vegetable, but it technically is a fruit. These are German lunchbox tomatoes. And what appealed to me about these is they're bigger than a cherry tomato, but not big like your average size tomato. So they looked like they were about maybe this big. So I'm excited to try them and see how they taste. Schwarzenbeeren blackberries. What appealed to me about these is that they look like blueberries, but maybe they taste like blackberries. I'm not sure, but I'm interested in checking them out. And they had some neat history to them. They were brought to Kansas by Volga German immigrants around 1875. How cool is that? Sugar baby watermelon. 
I normally grow black mountain watermelons and they do very, very well, but they take up a lot of space in the garden. So what appealed to me about these ones is they don't take up as much room in the garden. It's more like a bush that grows watermelons. So we will try them and see what happens. This is a variety of cantaloupe that's supposed to be super sweet and looked delicious in the catalog. I have to admit that flowers are not my strong suit, but I'm hoping to change that. I decided to step out of my shell a little bit and I ordered some flower varieties, so hopefully I will have some good success with them in the upcoming year. But the first one I chose was coxcomb. I thought they were just beautiful. I mean, just look at those colors. I can't wait to grow these. Next is sunflowers. These are our Aracara. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I apologize. We tried some last year and some of them did really good and the other ones did not. So I'm hoping this variety will do a little bit better for us. Yarrow Colorado mix. The last flower I have is coneflower, mellow yellows. Toothache plant in yellow. I've been reading and hearing a lot about this plant and I've decided to give it a try. I thought, hey, this probably would be a good thing to have on hand because you never know when those teeth will give you a little bit of trouble. We love chamomile tea around here and last year I grew it and it did really well, but I didn't grow enough of it. You need a lot of chamomile to dry it to make your own tea. So I'm gonna plant a lot more this year and hopefully I'll get enough during the harvest season. The other really cool thing about Baker's Creek is when you order so many seeds, they give you a packet of free seeds. And I got several packets because I ordered quite a bit. So I wanted to share with you what they gave me as far as free seeds go. I thought that was really nice. So the first thing I got is lemon bee balm, red cabbage. I don't know what this one, I think it might be a flower, Anathem graviolens. I'm guessing that's a flower. I'll have to go look it up. Rocky top lettuce salad. Armarillo carrots, Monarda bergamo, I'm guessing that's another flower. Cinnamon basil, I'm really excited to try this one. I just, I'm trying to picture it. Does it taste like cinnamon? Does it taste like basil? Is it a little bit of both? I guess we will have to wait and see. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. What are you guys growing in your garden? I would love to hear in the comments section below. Be sure to head over to morningchores.com where you'll find all kinds of information on gardening, homesteading, DIY, and much, much more. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.